Welcome to my channel. In this tutorial, I will be showing you how to recreate this open face humanoid look. Starting with a clean face, apply primer. Next, conceal the brows in an upward motion and set it with powder. Repeat these steps until the brows are flat against the skin. It's time for some color correcting. I use orange to offset the color of my brows and freckles and green for my pimples. Don't forget to blend! Now, slap on some foundation. Don't be afraid to make it thick. We want to look plastic. Blend and set with powder. Align the mask with a brown or white eye pencil. Apply more foundation on the uncovered area. Blend and set. Where we are going to attach the mask, remove excess oil on the skin with an alcohol swab. Apply prosit onto the area and also the extensions of the mask. Let's move on or wait for it to get tacky. Using a black gel liner, line around your eyes. I made the eyes bigger so as to conceal my lashes when I shut my eyes. Right, it's dry. Let's stick them on. Back to the eyes, with the same black gel liner, fill them in. Now apply eyeshadow primer around your new eyes, gonna make them colors pop. With the dark brown eyeshadow, create a new set of creases. Next, apply a dark metallic blue eyeshadow on the lower lid, followed by a lighter shade of blue. Blend, 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 blend. Extend to the upper eyelid, adding some dark brown eyeshadow as you go along. Blend some more. Let's make the crease a wee bit more obvious. Apply eyeshadow primer in that spot between the line and your eye. Use a pearly white eyeshadow in that area and holographic blue eyeshadow in the inner corners. Brow time! I use a brown eye pencil to mark it out and eyebrow powder cake to fill them in. white liquid liner outline the eyes and also highlight some spots in the eyes so that it would not seem hollow and add some to the brows as well next we are going to section the face start with the brown eye pencil with the dark brown eyeshadow brush along the lines Use a white eye pencil on the opposite side. This will help you create a 3D effect. Add some brown and white eyeshadow to give it more definition. Place the lashes on the new upper lid. 
Apply liquid latex and hinges to make sure the mask remains secure. When it's dry, paint the lower half of your face black. Draw the patterned metal piece using the slide-on pencil. I use glitzy gold as the main color, golden olive as the low light, and platinum as the highlight. Create a glow effect where the orbs will be with pearly eyeshadows. Play around with the colors here. Using a red cream lipstick, paint on the orbs. Next, paint the electricity with blue paint and go over it with white. Make it as irregular as possible. Brush on some holographic eyeshadow in red for the orb and green for the electricity to give it some glow. Apply black eyeshadow on the inner edge to give it an illusion of depth. Next, we paint the hairline. Remember, we want to look less human, more manufactured. We're done with the face. Let's move on to the body. Using white eyeliner, mark out the details. Fill the heart with red face paint. The cables, blue, and everywhere else in that circle, black. in a darker shade of red on the lower half of the heart. Now for some details. Draw it out with black paint. Using the platinum slide-on pencil, add on the metal parts. with the black paint. Highlight the heart with white eye pencil. Now we're going to draw out the ribcage in a similar manner as that of the lower half of the face. Once again, apply black eyeshadow on the inner edge. Apply foundation to the rest of your body. Remember how we sectioned the face earlier? Same thing here. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and follow me on Instagram and Facebook. Links in the descriptions. Bye-bye.